Hello everyone, this is Piyu here and I'm here today with a flipbook share. This flipbook is going to be out in the mail today so before I send it to her I just wanted to share it with you people uh, so that in case you guys want to steal some ideas please feel free to do that. Now this whole flipbook uh, has been created by me uh, inspired after Little Hot Tamale. You should go and check Megan out. I would leave her link in the description box down below. I am damn sure that uh, you guys would have already been watching her videos. But in case you have missed it, please go give her channel some love because I feel she is totally amazing. Now, this uh, flip book, I had some 12 by 12 uh, pattern paper. So I just uh, cut them to the um, size that I wanted. Uh, I had to get uh, three flaps in fact, one, then two, this is a smaller flap which I would um, tell you um, in seconds from now and this is the bigger flap. So this flip book I made using three flaps so this is how the front cover looks um, and back portion I generally don't do any decorations, I like to leave it as it is. Um, so here as always I created my own banner cluster, I get into my scraps and then I just create um, clusters with coordinating pattern papers and then just check what all I have in my desk and then take all of them and then pin it up and then make a cluster that's all. So here I've had three layers of banners, then two blinks, then I had some ribbons lying on my table so I just pinned them up together and also um, have used a lot of hearts uh, to make uh, this flip book so I punched out some hearts and there was some extra so I you know used the same to make the cluster and then did a DIY embellishment here and then here I used two blinks and a pen pal of mine she had um, sent me these Martha Stewart butterfly uh, punched uh, ones so I decided to use them in the front cover and here it says you are fabulous don't forget it. I don't know from where I got these die cuts but I do remember that I purchased it online so that's how simple the front cover is. Now to get into the inside of it I have put some goodies in here for her I would take it out. So that's how the um, inside portion looks. I punched out some hearts. Uh, and wrote HUGS which forms uh, hugs and then had some star stickers which I decorated the middle part so that it doesn't look quite blank and took my fountain pen and then just joined the heart so that it looks like a banner then uh, had my clear stamps butterfly butterfly uh, queso craft clear stamps I stamped a butterfly and then did fussy cut them and then put it here and layered two washies, a green and white striped washi and a polka dot orange washi and used some blinks. Also I had this border punch with which I created this border and then made a pocket here so that I can house these uh, goodies in there. So let me put them back. Now here I created my second flap uh, which is a little bit um, you know shorter than the um, front and the back cover because I wanted this awesomeness to stand out which I've written here I wanted the awesomeness to show out so I decided to um, cut that flap a little bit shorter then made these mini envelopes these also have uh, made inspired after Megan from Little Hot Tamale. I made three uh, mini envelopes and then uh, put some goodies in there like I punched out some hearts and some scallops, uh, you know circles and all that and then I put it inside and secured them with washi and a cute uh, heart sticker and then with my hand I've written goodies in there and secured it with some golden and green color washies and this is a paper clip which another pen pal of mine she had uh, sent it across to me so since I have she sent me like loads and loads of them I decided to give away one to this uh, precious friend of mine now if we get into the inside portion these are my new washi collections so just take this out yeah these are my new washi collections so I just wanted to uh, give them samples of the washies that I had got so just layered it one below the other uh, so 
the person who is going to receive it can just peel the washi and use it in her projects. And I have this best of best stamp which I decided to put it here and I've written here my new washi collections. And just a little bit of decoration with some stickers that I bought for Christmas. <laughs> and here is the last page uh, wherein I have put an envelope. This Mona had uh, sent it to me from Germany. And inside I've put loads of stickers and tags and goodies and die cuts uh, which she can use it in her projects. And this rosette was also made by um, this so creative friend of mine who made this paper clip. And I felt it looks absolutely adorable in this. And because the back side it was uh, the 12 by 12 pattern packs uh, were single sided so I just wanted to cover this uh, portion because I didn't want it to be plain so I did uh, cut uh, another pattern paper and then glued it onto this side so that it doesn't look plain uh, like this. And then added this rosette here and that's it. Now I'll just tie it with some um, nice ribbon and then send it across to her. So I hope she likes it. I hope you guys liked it. In case you have anything to say or any uh, encouragement to give me, please show them in the uh, comment box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy week ahead. Love you. Bye-bye.